Torah TV. The world is thinking. If I were a TV broadcaster right now, I'd be paranoid or, or either that or schizophrenic. Um, yeah, the schizophrenia comes from the recognition that IPTV can turn out to be so much more flexible than the dedicated transmission of television channel by channel by channel. Uh, in fact, um, you, you already see the public response. YouTube is, is an example of that. People like the on-demand nature of YouTube. Uh, packet switched systems can support on demand a lot more easily than having dedicated channels. On top of which, I think there's this theorem that says there's a finite amount of quality in the universe. And uh, what's happened in the television world is that it keeps dividing, the quality gets divided up into what, what a smaller and smaller that? number, you know, a larger number of channels with smaller quality per channel. And what I'd love to see happen, frankly, is that we forget the channelized idea and let people pay attention to the content that they want to see, find a way to get that to them when they want it, let them download it and play it back, uh, and uh, make a much more efficient use of that, uh, that capacity. So, is Google working on that? I'm sorry? Is Google working on that technology? Or well, Google Android is certainly very, you look at how hard we work already when, you know, with YouTube, which is delivering video as a, a packet stream. Uh, and the television companies are starting to recognize that that may be uh, the direction that, uh, that the video business goes in. But they're holding, I mean, they're just demanding higher fees. I mean, Fox, what they did with Time Warner Cable or whatever. I mean, they don't seem ready for this version of the universe. So the, so the interesting question will be, as broadband access becomes available, assuming it doesn't get distorted by non-neutral uh, behaviors, then the general public will be sending messages to the television suppliers saying, this is how we want to get our video entertainment. I'd like to suggest a vocabulary change here. The word television, in my view, is a business model around the medium of video. It's broadcast, it's scheduled, it's programming, uh, and all that stuff. And video is just a medium. And the way people use video today, or trying to use video today, is very different from the scheduled, programmed, everything else. It's time shifting. Uh, it's downloading off the net and playing it back on your television set. Uh, it's getting DVDs and playing those. In fact, you know, just, uh, I have, Reed Hastings uh, is, is uh, an amazing guy, right? Uh, he's, got, uh, he's turned the U.S. Postal Service into a broadband transmission system. It has a little delay, but other than that, it's yeah. amazing. I called him up a couple of years ago, and I asked him, how many of these DVDs are you putting into the Postal Service every day? And he said, 2 million a day. So I said, okay, let's see, 7.4 gigabytes, uh, you know, 2 million, mumble, 24 hours, 3,600 seconds. It was a pretty respectable bandwidth. It just took three days, you know, for it to get there. Well, now you can, but, I mean, Netflix On Demand is... Um, yeah, you know, yeah, there, and, and I, the, it's a very clever business model. I mean, especially the idea that it's a fixed price for some number of things outstanding in the pipeline. Yeah. It's just, it's really, um, you know, hats off. So, even Reed's uh, paranoid now because of, you know, the DVD it's become pretty obsolete. Right? Well, as you can see, the people who supply the DVDs are starting to shift into supplying online as an alternative or an augmentation of that. So I think that it's really inescapable that the media, which had been segregated from each other on separate networks, is inescapably going to find itself combining on the packet mode system. There's a side effect of that. And the side effect is that the media, the distinctions between the media blur. And so telephony and video and video conferencing and interactive games and you know programs that do things dynamically all become part of one very interesting complex mix. So the multimedia, which in the past was mixing of very well-defined media, becomes a much more elaborate and interesting proposition as they all begin to get delivered through this packet mode environment. So I'm actually excited about this mixing and blurring the internet lets you do that. And I can hardly wait to see what people end up doing with it.